What's up guys, it's Daz here, Beauty Carers, Nintendo's being suspicious. The 3D Mario series is clearly trying to come back to its roots of 2D platforming, as shown by the latest two games being Super Mario 3D Land and World. Maybe they're trying to bring back the audience they had 20 odd years ago since they seem to have vanished recently looking at the Wii U sales. But that's not the topic I want to go over. What I want to talk about is their one link to the innovative 3D Mario franchise, Rosalina. She first appeared in Super Mario Galaxy. Seemed pretty cool, like a fancy space princess or something. Naturally, she reappeared in Super Mario Galaxy 2, and everything seemed normal. Then she appeared once again in Mario Kart Wii. Okay, seems normal. Successful character coming up in the new kart? All seems logical. But then the 3D Mario series changed. No more sunshine, no more galaxy. So naturally, you'd expect no more Rosalina. Nope. She's been reappearing a lot recently. In Super Mario 3D World, she became the fifth unlockable character. You go to space after completing the story and you find her there, so the context is good, but... Why? Then she appeared in Super Smash Bros. U and 3DS. Her and Luma worked together to batter and BOOSH characters off the stage. Odd. Super Mario Galaxy came out BEFORE Super Smash Bros. Brawl, so why not add her in then? I get that Galaxy's sequel came after Brawl, so did it really take that long to notice her significance? And now finally, she's once again popped up in Mario Kart 8, though she also appeared in previous installments. As I said, very suspicious. So I think it's time we delve a little deeper, add a bit of imagination, and maybe we can muster up a masterpiece. So, this is the Rosalina Theory. Let's begin. First of all, let's look into Super Mario 3D World. I personally don't think there's anything too significant to mention for this game, as I feel that Rosalina's appearance is simply a throwback to her being part of the 3D Mario franchise. I doubt there is actually anything notable to add about the features in 3D World, at least not to the extent that I'll be going over in Smash and Kart. So for 3D World, I will simply be saying that she's a large reference. It may even be Nintendo's secret plan to elongate the game as you have to complete each level at least twice to complete it with every character, which is needed to 100% the game. By making you play it again, Nintendo has more time to scrounge about and create a game which may or may not revive the system from its undeniable unstable state. <laughs> well, enough conspiracy theories, let's move on to Smash. Now this is where things get interesting, because along with the Galaxy games seeming to be dropped, there is another series in the 3D Mario games which also got dropped after one game was released. Super Mario Sunshine. Now earlier in my Sunshine 2 theory video, I mentioned that I believed that Nintendo was trying to forget Sunshine as it was seen as a failure on their part. But as Zaver Life pointed out, in Smash Bros, Mario still has Flood, a water pump which aided him throughout Mario Sunshine. Surely if they wanted to forget these bad times, they wouldn't have included Flood at all. So that also seems a little suspicious. Not to mention they also dedicated a stage to Delfino Plaza. Off of Sunshine and on to Galaxy. In Smash Bros, they don't just add Rosalina and call it a day on Galaxy references. Oh no. They one-up that idea and give Galaxy its own freaking stage. Complimentary of Bowser's airship and the Mario ship and the circular planet. It even has the correct gravity physics. This is more than just an appearance. This is like a tribute. Why would Nintendo go to such details about a character they haven't cared about for years? In the reveal trailer cutscene at the beginning, we can even see her interacting with the Mario Kart characters, who are actually Smash characters in disguise, just look at Bowser. And this brings us to the topic of Kart. Now I have a lot to say. Starting off, can I just say that I love this reference to Kirby's air with Kirby riding a warp star, even though he's not a Kart character. I see what you did there, Sakurai. Anyway, I'm digressing. What I want to talk about with Kart is not necessarily Rosalina herself, but the constant references to Sunshine and Galaxy. So starting off, the new Mario Kart 8 trailer showed a Sunshine Airport racetrack, and as Sean says here, that has to mean something. I mean, I think it's pretty clear that Nintendo is not trying to hide Sunshine anymore. Heck, they even put it as one of the first tracks you see. They almost seem to take pride in it. Featured in this track are also stickers of Galaxy Air, which are a clear reference to Galaxy. It seems that Sunshine and Galaxy are referenced as a pair a lot of the time. Rosalina's in Smash, throw in a shot of Mario and the Flood. Sunshine Racetrack, put in some Galaxy references. It would make sense to pair them since they are both like dropped 3D Mario series games. But remember back in the Sunshine days, Super Mario Sunshine was linked to another game back then. 
Luigi was never seen in sunshine, and in the hotel in Serena Beach, there was a pianta in the attic who wished someone would come with a vacuum and suck up the ghosts there. Yes. Sunshine was clearly linked to Luigi's mansion. Even in the haunted mansion, King Boo stated that he wanted revenge on Mario, and we've established that Sunshine was a prequel to Luigi's mansion, despite coming out later. So in that sense, it all connects. Not to mention Egad, the man in a white coat, created the Poltergust 3000 used in Luigi's Mansion and the magic staff used in Sunshine. So how does this connect? Well, if Luigi's Mansion is connected to Sunshine, and Sunshine has recently become connected to Galaxy, then you have three games set up for a revival. And it's already begun. Now I direct you to last year. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon came out. So already there's an imbalance between the three games. Sunshine and Galaxy need to up their games, so they've become more noticeable in recent games. But I don't think that's enough. What if there's more to these throwbacks? As I've said in previous videos, Nintendo seems to make games in pairs. Generally there are two of each game in a series. 64 and 64DS, Galaxy and Galaxy 2, you know, that sort of thing. But now they would have reached the end of their 2D platformer era of Super Mario 3D Land and World. So what's next? Well, I think Nintendo wants to go back to their Galaxy days. They're using Rosalina to advertise Galaxy and maybe bring in a few more fans since it was so successful. Could Rosalina even be a clue to the next Mario game? It's unlikely that there will strictly be a third Mario Galaxy game as it doesn't really roll off the tongue. But Sunshine and Galaxy were very successful in hindsight. So what if the next 3D Mario game was an amalgamation of both Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Sunshine? Rosalina is the clue towards Galaxy-esque things. Often when Rosalina is referenced, a Sunshine reference is shortly followed, connecting the two games. And as Luigi's Mansion was linked to Sunshine previously, it is also intertwined with the two. Not to mention, Galaxy has its pair, Luigi's Mansion has its pair, but Sunshine is still a one-man party. So what could this new game be called? Well, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon came out recently. So if Sunshine is said to follow like it did in the past, then why not call it, as Mr. Poseidon suggested, Bright Sun, or something to that effect. It works pretty well if you ask me. Now I could just be letting my imagination go crazy at this point, but that's really a good thing. Just imagine all the possibilities Nintendo could do with the concept of sunshine and galaxy intertwined. For example, with Flood, you could literally use a rocket nozzle to shoot onto a nearby planet, or host new nozzles such as one that allows it to use the elements seen in the Poltergust 3000. Ice, fire and water. With that, there are a multiple of options. Freezing a path of water to slide over it, melting large blocks of ice so that you can progress, or you could even add new nozzles altogether. Ones which produce bubbles that you can ride in, or play music to hypnotise certain enemies. The ideas are endless. This game alone could breathe life into an older time, long faded. I mean, just look at the responses some of you have given for the idea of a new Sunshine or Galaxy game. I really want 3D World, but if Sunshine 2 is planned to be released, I will drop my plans and my balls and buy it immediately. I want to see Mario Sunshine 2. I hope that Nintendo makes a Super Mario Sunshine 2. Yes, 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 yes! Shut up and take my money! Make it, Nintendo! So I say this to you, Nintendo, even though the chances of you seeing this are very slim. I would say that this game could be the thing to turn your current situation around. Sure, Mario Kart 8 and Smash Bros may bring in an increase in sales, but Smash Bros is also available on the 3DS, so half your sales will be gone from that. So you're only left with one game. That's not really a good standard. And sure, you have Pikmin 3 and 3D World, but they're not as popular as they could be. Your largest opportunity lies in the Sunshine and Galaxy games, and combining the concept would be like a goldmine. Still, you can't always predict the future, so I guess we'll just have to see how things go. Even though this idea is pretty far-fetched, even by my standards, I think I'd like to keep continuing the ideas for this kind of game. So if you have any ideas of what could be added to this amalgamation, then now is your chance. Turbo Nozzle plus Fire Element equals... Oh my. And think of it this way. If we keep speculating these concepts and ideas and keep growing this game up in our minds between us, maybe it'll even be recognised by Nintendo and at least considered as an option. I mean, my Pikmin 3 Hazard ideas hit over 140,000 views at the time of this recording, so imagine how large the idea of a new Mario game could become. Still, the future of this idea is really in your hands. The more we think about it, the bigger it'll grow, and even if Nintendo doesn't make the game itself, we as a community may have made a masterpiece of a game on our own. 
So if you'd like to see more videos about this new Galaxy Sunshine Mario game, then simply comment some ideas for the game and I'll continue speculating as it comes in. So, I think now would be a good time to put in a summary. Rosalina's popped up in a lot of recent games. She is a clear reference to Super Mario Galaxy. And lately, Galaxy and Super Mario Sunshine have been referenced together a lot. Back in the day, Sunshine was heavily connected to Luigi's Mansion. So this connects Luigi's Mansion, Sunshine and Galaxy together. With Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon being released last year, it also hints some reappearance with Sunshine. Since Sunshine is often referenced with Galaxy, it could also be possible that the next Mario game will be a combination of Sunshine and Galaxy. And while this idea may be miles off, the concept seems great, so we might as well just roll with it. Well, I think I'm going to end it off here. This video could be my greatest idea I've ever come up with so far, or my biggest flop. I guess we'll just have to see. Well, I'm going to end it off here. So, my name's Mindaz. You didn't really care and I'll see you in a bit.